Hey, it's Chris, and if you're watching this video, then you probably already know that your online activity isn't safe, secure, or private unless you're using a VPN. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to actually use a VPN. And the good news is, it's not even hard. More specifically, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a VPN on your iPhone or MacBook Pro, but if you're an Android or Windows user, then the process isn't gonna be very different at all. But first things first, just in case anybody out there is a little bit lost, and it looks like a couple people were based on my Twitter poll, then let me explain what a VPN actually is. So you can think of a VPN as a secret dark tunnel between you and the websites that you visit. And inside that tunnel, third parties can't see what you're doing because everything's encrypted. That's important because companies like Comcast and AT&T can now spy on their customers because they're less regulated, which means that your data might be up for sale, which is totally maddening, I know. Aside from that, it's pretty unsafe these days to just jump on an unsecured public Wi-Fi network like you'd find at many coffee shops or hotels. So if you're at the coffee shop and you're accessing anything like your bank account or your email, anything that requires a password or other sensitive information, then you should not be doing that without a VPN. Also, if you live in a country where certain information is restricted or censored, then a VPN might come in handy for you as well. So a good VPN can solve a lot of different issues. And I say good VPN, because there are lots of bad VPNs out there that log your information and aren't really as secure or private as you might think. So now it's time to show you how to get your VPN set up. And today I'm gonna to be using NordVPN, the sponsor of this video actually, which was cool enough to give you 70% off if you use the coupon code daily tech, spelled daily T-E-K-K. -K. I've got that linked up down in the description. You can also go to nordvpn.com slash daily tech. First of all, they've got super fast servers located in 61 countries and they don't do any data logging. Plus, they've got 24 seven customer support. Okay, so how do you use a VPN? Well, the first step is really simple. You just have to sign up for an account. And again, you can do that at nordvpn.com slash daily tech. Once you've done that, the next step is to grab the relevant app. So I'm gonna grab the app for my iPhone and for my Mac, which are easy to find in the app stores or on NordVPN's website. After that, open each app and log in using the credentials that you created when you signed up for the account. Next, follow the on-screen prompts to continue the setup. NordVPN is gonna ask you for access to your phone or your computer's VPN settings. So go ahead and say yes. After that, you're almost done. And the next thing you wanna do is connect to the nearest server that has the lowest amount of load, and you can do that in the map view or the list view. Again, NordVPN's apps are so similar across all the different platforms that it's pretty much gonna look the same on whatever device you're trying to get this set up on. Now on my iPhone, once I'm connected, I can look in the top left corner of the screen and see the three little letters VPN to let me know that I'm actually connected and in that secret dark tunnel. On the computer, I can simply look at the map view and see that the little pin icon is green. At this point, you're set, but if you want to, you can enable the kill switch feature, which will shut down critical apps and programs in the event that the VPN connection gets disabled. So that's it, that's totally it. And that was surprisingly simple, right? So as promised, let me go into a few more details as to why NordVPN might be the right choice for you. So people in China in particular are gonna love NordVPN because it's actually actually able to bypass the Great Firewall. But wherever you are, NordVPN uses military-grade encryption and double encrypts your data. It also allows Onion over VPN, gives you unlimited bandwidth, and even has a cybersecurity suite, which includes an ad blocker. There are actually a few more cool features, which I'm gonna let you discover by checking out the website. And hey, don't forget to use that 70% off coupon, which you can find down in the description. And if you're not already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And don't forget to hit subscribe. All those links are down in the description too. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.